Hi friends, it's Carrie from Stretch Chi. Welcome back to my channel. Today is episode three of our super easy resistance stretching series. We're gonna work on our hamstrings, our hip flexors, our glutes, and our inner thighs today. You're gonna love these stretches. Couple things first, if you've never done Kihara before, make sure that you click this link above. Uh, it says, watch first Kihara rules. Kihara is the method that we're doing here. So it's pretty amazing, but you kinda of wanna know how to do it. So watch that video if you haven't done this before. Also, this is episode three, so watch the other two episodes, because they're pretty awesome too. Although it's totally fine to start here if you want. For those of you who are returning to my channel, thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe also if you haven't done that yet. Click that little link in the corner that looks like an Arrow, that's a subscription button. I have a goal to get 12,000 followers and I'm not even close. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do that. All right, so if you did my other two videos, you know how this works. But if this is your first time experiencing this, then uh, just quick, this is how this works. We're gonna run through these easy stretches, five repetitions of each stretch. And then we're gonna go through and repeat the same stretches again. So the first set is kind of like your cleanup set. And the second set is actually to make gains in your mobility set. None of these stretches should hurt. So if anything hurts, just skip it and move on, okay? Um, if you really need some problem solving, then at the end of each set, at the second time through, I'll give you a problem solving video, okay? We're gonna start off our stretch for our hamstrings. So you're gonna need a rope. That's what I have my rope here for. So grab a rope, grab a yoga strap, grab a towel, grab a, a, a sheet to grab something that doesn't have a lot of give to it that you can use uh, to stretch your legs. Now, sometimes people are like, well, can I use a stretchy resistance band? If your band that you're using is like a rubber band at all, like if it has any kind of give to it, it's not gonna work. So no, you cannot use a resistance band like you would use a PT or something. It has to be a rope that like, doesn't have any give, okay? It should be tight. So we're gonna lay on our backs. Wrap the rope around your right foot and grab both ends of the rope in your hands. Both hands, I like to take a good hold on it. And what you're gonna do is very slowly kick your heel down towards your glutes and your arms will slow down that motion. Then you use your arms to slowly pull you up into the stretch. Now notice that my arms are actually pulling over my head. I'm not just holding the rope like this. All that does is pull my knee into my chest. You want to kick down and have something to pull against, and then pull up, and also my leg is able to fight here. So I kick down for strength, and I pull up for stretch. You should feel a stretch in the back of your hamstring right here. If you don't feel that, it's okay, but just skip this stretch, and we'll come back to it later. So kick down for strength, and up for stretch, and now we'll switch sides. So grab the rope around your left leg. You don't have to change your hands. You just keep a good hold on both ends of the rope. Kick down for strength and up for stretch. Again, you should feel this right down the back of your hamstring, right here in the back. And if you don't feel that, then skip the stretch. We'll come back to it. Down for strength, up for stretch. So about five or six repetitions of each stretch, and then we'll move on to our hip flexor stretch. So you're gonna bring one leg up, and I have the rope wrapped around like this, and my leg is up so that I can resist. So I'm trying to push this leg down towards the floor. My other leg is gonna try to pull in towards my chest. So I'm just gonna pull my bottom leg in, and then I'm gonna push it out with my hand, and just go back and forth like that. In for strength and out for stretch. What you should feel here is a stretch in the front of your hip flexor right here. You might not feel it until you get to the ground. And this looks pretty subtle, so you might not feel it at all. That's okay, that doesn't mean it's not working. It just might be a little more subtle. But if you feel it like in the hamstring here, you feel it on the outside, or if you feel any pain, just go ahead and skip this one. And let's do one more. Also, this leg could be bent if that feels better to you, and that'd be fine, okay? So now take your left leg in the rope, just like if you were stretching the hamstring. You can put it, it could be up here, it could be up here, it could be bent, whatever feels the best to you. 
The purpose of this leg is to put your back on the ground. So when your leg's up, you'll feel your spine kind of like sink down towards the floor. Then your right leg is going to pull in towards your chest while your hand slush down, and then use your hand to push you back up. So you push in for strength, and you push open for your stretch. And again, it's just a back and forth, in for strength, and out for stretch. And if it feels like you want to, you can bend this leg if that feels better. You can pull it up higher if you want to. It's just up to you, okay? About five repetitions, and then we'll switch to a new stretch. This one we call the splits in the air. I'm gonna turn so you can see my legs better, but you don't have to turn. You can stay right where you are, as long as you bring your feet. You're gonna bring your feet up towards the ceiling. If your hamstrings are tight, you can bend your knees. Grab the inside of your knees with your hands and push in for strength and then use your arms to open you up. So this is an inner thigh stretch. You pull in for strength, and you open for stretch. You should feel it here in your inner thighs. It's okay if it shakes, and if your knees are bent, it would look like this, and that's okay too. In for strength, and open for stretch. All right. Now lay on your back and we're going to stretch out the outside of your hips and your glutes. So what you're going to do is take your right leg and put it on top of your left knee. So I'm going to reach through with my hands and grab the back of my left leg with both hands and interlock my fingers. If this is not easy for you to do, you can take the rope and wrap it around your left leg and hold it like that. Or you can even just have your foot on the ground like this, and that would be okay. All right? You can choose whichever works the best for you. You're going to push with your right leg into your left knee, and then pull in with your arms, or with the rope, or just with your left foot to get resistance. So I'm pulling in here for my stretch and pushing out for strength. Make sure that you're resisting the whole time. If you use your rope, It'll look like this, out for strength and in for stretch. If you just use your left leg, it'll look like this, in for stretch and down for strength. And you could even just lift your toe up a little bit, and that might be enough if you feel a stretch in your glute. It just really depends on how tight you are through that muscle, okay? So you can choose the range that feels the best for you. Out for strength and in for stretch. And then we'll try the other side. So your left leg will go on top of your right leg. Reach through and grab your right leg with both hands, or with the rope, or you can have it down on the floor. And then you're just going to go back and forth. So you push out for strength, then pull in for stretch. Out for strength, and in for stretch. And you should feel this in the back of your glutes, right here, along your hip, or the outside of your hip. And if you don't, it's okay, you can just skip it. If this is really uncomfortable, if it doesn't feel good, you can skip it and we'll come back to it later. So about five repetitions. Now that we've done those four muscles, we can go back and stretch them again because we've cleaned up some of the mess that was already there. They kind of work as a pulley system, as a team. They work together. So when we go back and do them again, you should actually be able to get some gains this time. So take the rope and wrap it around your right foot. Grab both ends of the rope in both hands, kick down for strength, and pull up for your stretch. It's okay if it's a small range of motion. It's okay if you want it to be a little bigger. It's up to you. Now, if you still don't feel the stretch in the back of your leg, it should be right here in your hamstring. If you feel any pain or pinching or any up, joint pain, or if you just feel it in your calf or something like that, then you may need to do some extra problem solving. So in each of these stretches, I'm going to link a problem solving video right above. So you'll see it here. It says hamstring problem solving. Click that link and go and do that video if you want a little extra. Or you could just do this video again tomorrow and it might be completely different. You can try it out. See how it goes. But if you want to dive a little deeper, that's how you do it. So kick down for strength 
and I pull up for stretch. I've switched to my left leg now. And again, you should feel it right down the back of your leg. And if you don't, just find that problem solving video. You can find all the videos that I've linked by clicking the little eye in the corner too, if that little gray box is disappeared. Click that eye and a drop down menu will show up and it will show you all the videos. Now, one thing to note too is that if you guys are watching this on your television, you might not be able to see those videos. So you might have to look a little bit deeper and see if you can find them or look at this part of this video on your phone to find that link. Because sometimes they don't show up on smart TVs. Now we're going to stretch our hip flexors. So put the rope around your right leg. Get a nice good hold on it so you can hold that leg up. It's okay if it's bent, but you want to have your spine on the floor. Then push your left leg in towards your chest. I'm using my hip flexors to push me in. And then I'm going to use my left hand to push me open. And it's like you're pushing your legs into the splits, but it's up to you how far you want to go. Like if you just want to go this far, that's okay. That's as far as you go. Make sure that your back stays on the ground. That's the key. If you have any pain in this, if it feels really tough, then there's the problem solving video right above, right up there. So go ahead and check that out. See if you can get a little bit more by doing a few extra things. And again, about five stretches should be fine for this one. And then we'll switch sides. So now your left leg will go on the rope and the rope will be in your left hand. Then take your right leg and push in for strength and open for your stretch. So you push in for strength and open for stretch. You should feel this in the front of your right hip this time. If you don't, or if it just doesn't feel good, or you don't feel like this is productive, then go ahead and try the problem solving video. And again, about five repetitions, and then we'll switch to our next stretch. All right, so now bring your legs straight up. We're gonna go for the splits in the air. So take your hands and grab your knees on the inside. Squeeze your legs together for strength training and open them wide for your stretch. So you open straight out to the side and then squeeze right back in. Open for your stretch but still resisting and squeezing in for strength. You should feel your inner thighs. Maybe you can get a little deeper stretch this time or a little farther. It's possible. Uh, if you don't feel your inner thighs, if you feel any pain here, if your hamstrings are really not liking this, then you can try the problem solving video. So that's the right thing. And one more stretch. And now we're ready to go into your abductors. These are your glutes. So take your right leg on top of your left leg, reach through and grab your left leg with both hands. Push your right leg away from your body while you pull in with your arms at the same time. So you push out for strength and in for your stretch. And again, it's just a nice back and forth motion. You should feel your glute on the right side. If you don't feel that, still doesn't feel good, then check out the problem solving video. It's right there. And let's go for one more. Out for strength and in for stretch. And switch sides. Left leg over top. Grab your right leg with both hands. Push your left leg away from your body while your arms win to pull you in and then the left leg wins, and then your arms win. Your right leg you just hold on to. And again, if you don't feel your glute in this one, if it feels bad or you just don't like it, then go ahead and problem solve. So put the link above. Look for that little eye in the corner. The, it looks like an info eye up there. Click on that and it'll pull down all the movies, all the different videos. <sighs> all right, friends, that's all I've got for today. This is only part three of a four-part series, so make sure that you tune in for the next one, which will be all upper body and rotator cuff and all kinds of good stuff. So we'll do those arm stretches on Wednesday, since Wednesday's arm day, right? Do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Those are like the most important things. Tell your friends about these videos, and I'll see you on Wednesday for arm day. Bye-bye.